Alrighty guys, so the last thing I want to talk about in Unit 2 here is this case study. So let's read together. Ellen, a Ellen Armstrong, MA, has been employed for five years as an administrative MA with Inner City Healthcare. Ellen is a perfectionist and has pushed herself to achieve many of her short and long-term goals. The clinic staff has become aware that Ellen does not have a sense of humor lately. She seems frustrated and irritable, and she is becoming critical of herself and others. Ellen has felt physical and emotionally exhausted, yet she continues to focus on her high standard of job performance. However, work is becoming a chore. At the end of the day, if everything has not been completed to her satisfaction, she feels like a failure. So guys, what do you think? Do you think Ellen is stressed or experiencing burnout? What do you base those conclusions on? What key points did you hear that made you think that maybe she's experiencing stress or burnout. Some of the things, the keywords that stuck out to me um, were that she feels emotionally and physically exhausted and she's lost her sense of humor and that also work is now a chore for her. So what might Ellen do to differentiate these two conditions? What about just stress versus full-on blown out, burnout? What kind of tells you the difference between the two? Go back and watch the burnout video, and this will answer that question for you. What changes might Ellen implement to resolve this problem? What do you think she could do? Something I think about is taking a vacation, even just a staycation, um, a few days off to kind of relax, unwind. Um, that wasn't mentioned in the burnout video, but I think some, that's really important for um, workaholics and people that are perfectionists is knowing that it's okay to take time for yourself. Um, also, you know, creating a change in her environment, um, relying on her coworkers, talking it out with somebody. Um, let's think of some other ones. What, guy, what can you think of to help resolve this problem? What about asking for help? Um, all of those things can help in reducing her stress levels and help with her experience with burnout. So I hope you guys enjoyed Unit 2 and learned a lot about stress, stress in the workplace, and how to cope. Healthcare and working in healthcare is not for the faint of heart. Um, it's not always easy, but it is a very um, highly um, important uh, job category and people really need you guys out there. So um, I hope you learned a lot and that um, we are finishing up unit two and we'll move on to unit three next.